today we are going to learn about a very special family. They are called the place value family. Look how cute they are. Oh. Let me introduce you to the very first member of the family. Look at this baby girl. Isn't she cute? She's a baby. We call her one. We call her one because you can see her body is made out of a block and there's only one there. Say hi, baby one. One day, baby one decided to take a walk through the meadow on a nice, warm, sunny day. And as she was walking through, she saw, oh no, a big monster. And he said, hey, you little baby, I am so hungry and you look delicious. I'm going to eat you up. Lucky for the baby, her brother heard. This is her big brother. And he came to the rescue. His name is Tens. We call him Tens because if you count all the blocks inside of him, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, he has ten blocks. We also call him a Ten Stick. That's his nickname because he looks like a stick. And he said, hey, you monster, you can't eat my baby sister. I'm going to protect her. Oh, what a great big brother. He stands in front of her. He protects her from that monster. And the monster says, no problem, guys. I'm super hungry today. I'll eat both of you. Thank goodness gracious that both of these kids have a mom. Whoa, look how big she is. She is so big that we call her hundreds. Why do we call her hundreds? Because guess what? She has 100 blocks inside of her. You can also say she's 100 years old. So we have hundreds is the mom, 10, He's 10 years old, is the brother, and one is the baby. And the mom tells the monster, hey, you stay away from my kids. You can't eat them, I will protect them. So she stands in front of her kids to block them from the monster. But the monster says, ha, 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 ha. I'm so hungry, I think I can eat all of you. but so lucky for this family that they have another family member. Are you ready? He is the biggest and the oldest family member. He's called, whoa, Thousands. There's his name, Thousands. Look at him, he is 3D. All the other family members are flat, but he, pops off of the page. He's so big. And guess how old he is? Well, his name is Thousand. So he's 1,000 years old. Oh my goodness, he's so old. And look how little the monster is over here. And the monster looks at this family. He says, well, I know I could have eaten the baby. She's only one. And I know I could have eaten the big brother. He's only 10. And I'm pretty sure I could have eaten the mom. She's only 100. But you are way too big. <sighs> so he ran away. And this is our place value family. They all protect each other. So remember the order of the place value family. If there's only one person in the family, or we say one digit, that's the baby, that's the ones. If there are two people in the family, or we say two digits, that's the ones and then the tens. If there are three people that showed up in the family, or three digits, we say ones, tens, and hundreds, and if there's four people in the family, or four digits, we say ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. And guess what? 
there's even more people in the family. There's aunts and uncles and cousins. We're not gonna talk about them today, but the family even gets bigger and bigger. Let's practice a little bit. So, I'm going to make a chart. And in this chart is all of the different bedrooms of our family members. I'm gonna make the chart a little bit bigger. They all stay in a different room in their house. I'm going to put an O here. That's the baby. That's the one's place. T, that's the big brother. His bedroom's right next to hers. That's the tens place. H, that's the mom. She's in the hundreds place. And over here we normally put TH, that's the dad. He's in the thousands place. So, when I write the number, let's say 23, each digit, this is a digit, this is a digit, has to go in their own bedroom. So, we can start from the back. The first family member that comes out is the baby. So, the three goes in the ones place. The next family member that comes out to protect the baby, do you remember who that was? That was the big brother. So the two goes in the big brother's room. So in this number, we have three babies. It would look like this, these circles. Three babies, like the little, sorry, they were squares, and two big brothers. Okay, three babies, two big brothers. So in the number 23, we have two big brothers or two 10 sticks. Nice job, friends. So let's try one more. Here's my, oh, not yet. Here is my house and I have all my rooms. Remember, in the first room is the baby. So we say once. In the next room is the big brother. So we say tens. And I'm not going to do the mom and the dad today because I know that we're only gonna be talking about the baby and the big brother today. So what about the number 57? Well, in the number 57, there's two digits. One, two. And every digit has to be in their own room. We can't have any digits. The rooms just aren't big enough for more than one digit. So which number comes into the story first? From the side, walking through the yard. It's a seven and that will be in the baby's room. And then the next number that comes in to protect the baby from the monster over here. Oops, I should be a mean face. Will be Big Brother. So he can't go in the baby's room over here. He has to go in his own room. So in the number 57, how many babies are in the number 57? Well, there's seven babies. So we would have seven little squares. In the number 57, how many big brothers are there? Well, we have five in the big brother's room. So we would have five ten sticks. Five tens and seven ones. Great job, friends.